I work out like sufficiently, I don't need to. But then sometimes you will have that making excuses. So no, just just do it. What keep you keep going with what you've been doing for the last 10 years and even motivate you to quit your teacher to be a entrepreneur? Okay, that's a that's a great question again. Yeah, and I think one thing you mentioned I thought was really interesting was the idea of the discipline. That the discipline is built on all these systems that you slowly create that work for you, right? So it depends on yes. individuals. And then once you find it, it really helped. And for me, I, I realized that being active and being fit, when I first started out, it wasn't something I enjoyed. But maybe after the first one, two years, I realized other than like, even after I lost weight initially at the start, I wasn't looking like super amazing. I was just maybe smaller. and But all the side effects or like the positive effects was really your mood, your confidence, mm. the, the, the kind of things that you built from starting a fitness routine, which is the discipline. Like mm. the self-motivation. When I don't want to lift that weight, like I'm in the gym, I'm so tired. Sometimes I have a very busy day and my schedule gets pushed back, right? My my weightlifting goes very late into the evening and I don't want to be yeah. there. I, why do I have to be there? I'm already strong enough. Like, why do I have to be there? You know, sometimes you will say, I, I work out like sufficiently. I don't need to. But then sometimes you will have that making excuses. So no, just, just do it. Then you realize because you have always had that voice in your head that sets that expectation which is what you said you start off the day one thing you must continue that you set very high expectations no matter what yes. small task you do you must yes. make it perfect and make sure it's executed well it becomes a sort of your personal like belief yeah, yeah lifestyle so then it beca- yeah and then I think for myself it became something that kept me going even throughout the years no matter what even after a long day when I was in teaching mm-hmm. I, I had meetings and I had so many things to do after work I had to work in the evenings I had to work on weekends the fitness was the one thing that never stopped the one thing that never stopped even if I start school at 7 a.m if some days I really wanted to work out I would go in the mornings Mm. for a run then in the after work or another day would be after work I will plan a gym session and then Mm. I realized that it would become my career because I think it was something that I really believed in like not that I don't believe in teaching I believe in teaching and I really love teaching like it was something that I found meaningful and I enjoyed all the few years when I was in teaching but I think Mm. it made me realize that when my responsibilities increased and I I could do that and I could also do fitness at the same time but it was taking me slowly away from this part which is the fitness part just because, you know, as I progressed in my career in teaching, I was taking on more roles, I was leading people, and I would have to, I know I would have to sacrifice that part as, a, mm. as part of my responsibilities in my career. So then I yeah. realized it was a time for me to really choose. And I think that's when I decided, you know, even if I was giving opportunities to progress very well, I think I wanted to try something on my own. Yeah, mm. and it was difficult because, you know, when you think about how, what you were giving up, like, I had really done it for so long and I was doing well. It's not like I couldn't... I was still rather active when I was dead, then in teaching. But I realised, you know, this is the one thing that I never stopped doing in 10 years. Even mm. on the days that was super hard, it kept me going just because of the benefits of the entire activity itself. It's just, you know, you feel better. You yes. feel confident. You feel strong. So everything just made me realise it's good for my life and I want to help people with it. And that's why yeah. I decided, you know, I think I can try this out and do this as something that will allow me to also influence people, maybe a different age group like you said, but in the future I do hope to help kids also to continue working with them because I miss my students the most, I just say. <laughs> but yes. working with my trainees is the, yeah, I would say it's still mm. teaching, I enjoy it. Yeah. Wow, uh, thanks to let us know like, because for you to do something over 10 years, make it become a career, I don't think it's an easy a decision as well you know because we tend to do something too long and we get bored but like you yeah. say the benefit of fitness i agree because when physically i'm fit and i'm healthy i realize yeah. that my work productive is a way higher because mm. like like you say my job is the same i walk around a lot i do a lot of activity stuff and i realize if i sit down at home too long i become yeah. a like oh i don't feel like i'm doing work today and mm. fitness is really really health mentally strong to make us mm. build a strength for whole day, we can carry more work and so on. Thank you for continuing to support my Missy podcast. And don't forget to... Nice.